So this is M45, water pollution laws. Um, I really like this opening statement. When people demand change, change happens. Um, so that's really significant uh, because it, if you think about it, it's true. If the public wants something to happen and they all got together and um, decided to make it happen, people would listen. Um, so that's kind of what it takes in some of these cases. Um, so down here at the bottom, um, you'll need to know these different um, legislation acts that were in play. Um, and they kind of led to each other. So the first one, the Federal Water Pollution Control Act of 1948, um, that was kind of the first initial um, water protection. And then that kind of led to the Clean Water Act, which eventually led to the Safe Drinking Water Act. Um, so kind of know what they were all about, what started them, how are they different from each other. And then right now, we, we pretty much have the Safe Drinking Water Act is what we follow. Um, so just know what, um, what do they do, what do they enforce, um, what are they there to protect against. And then moving over to 527, um, know these levels. So these different microorganisms, different contaminants, and know the levels um, that are required um, in the water. Um, so we need to fall under those levels, so know what they are. Um, and then these MCL levels, which are these up here, um, they basically are influenced, well, not all the time, but sometimes they can be influenced politically or economically. Um, which is kind of disturbing, but um, but how can they? So um, so think about what would cause um, a government to kind of be more lenient, even though they know the toxicity level may be close to what they're allowing. Um, and then over here, I just put this little side note: uh, fracking is excluded from the Safe Drinking Act. Um, we've watched a video on that, uh, and as far as how bad that can be. Um, so that is excluded from that Safe Drinking Act, which is kind of a bummer. Um, and then moving down to the bottom, why would a company move from a developed um, to a developing nation? So why would they go from a nation that's stable economically to a developing nation? Um, why would they do that? So there's some environmental reasons. And then the last page is um, pretty much it. So, um, so another short... Um, section. And so um, this does talk a little bit about at the top here, um, it talks about polluted waterways and a lot of countries um, people are starting to pay more attention um, as people become more affluent, the country becomes more affluent, people have more money, um, they're not just surviving but they actually you know have some time um, to devote to maybe wanting um, better circumstances, better environmental areas in their neighborhoods. Um, so make sure you read that. Um, and that's it for M45.